Hello guys, what's up? This is Junaid. Welcome back to Xfinity. This video is going to be super amazing for gamers. Why? Because in this video, I am going to show you how to optimize NVIDIA control panel best graphics settings for gaming. I will show you everything step by step from start to end. As a result, you will ultimately increase or boost FPS of your game and can play better than before. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends if you find this video useful. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so now we are going to adjust NVIDIA control panel for best gaming performance, okay? So you need to make sure you watch this video till the end and do not miss anything because if you miss anything you will not get your performance and I will go through step by step of different settings that are necessary to achieve maximum frames per second in your game. So what you need to do, you need to right click on it and navigate to NVIDIA control panel. Once you are inside NVIDIA control panel, in adjust image settings with preview, make sure use the advanced 3D image settings is enabled. And uh, in manage 3D settings, these settings are very important and you need to follow my steps, okay? Image sharpening should be turned on with 0.5% sharpen and ignore film game should be 0.17 with GPU scaling enabled. In ambient occlusion, you need to make sure it is turned to performance. In any stropic filtering, you need to make sure it is application controlled. Do not change anything here. In FX AA, you need to make sure it is turned off. In gamma correction, you need to make sure it is on. In anti-aliasing mode, you need to make sure it is enhance the application settings. And in anti-aliasing settings, you need to make sure it is 8x. And in transparency, you need to make sure it is turned off. Do not change anything here. Make uh, keep your background application max frame rate off in CUDA GPU. This setting is very very important. You need to make sure your dedicated GPU is selected here. Do not select any integrated GPU. In DSR factor, you need to make sure it is turned off. Low latency mode should be turned off max frame rate should be turned off because if you change anything here you will limit your frames per second in your game monitor technology should be g compatible make sure it is selected and uh, in multi frame sample fwa you need to make sure it is on the next important setting is open gl rendering you need to make sure your geforce experience is selected and in power management mode you need to make sure optical power is not selected you need to select preferred maximum performance and uh, vg24 this is your monitor refresh rate keep it uh, at highest possible or available render cache should be turned on and in texture filtering you need to make sure it is turned on it will increase your texture quality negative load bias should be allowed and the quality should be i guess high performance and uh, trilinear optimization should be turned on uh, threaded optimization should be auto triple buffering should be turned on and uh, the last thing here is uh, use the application 3d settings keep it as it is virtual reality if you are playing virtual reality games then you can select this one two three four i do not recommend it virtual reality a variable super sample view should be adaptive so these are the perfect settings for your best gaming experience you will ever see after you are done with your setting click on apply so these were the very important settings after that you need to go to third option and make sure your SIX settings should be your uh, graphics card not your CPU it is very very important now navigate to change resolution and you need to also make sure to not select scaling resolution because as you can see it will lock everything to 60 frames per second you need to make sure you are in your uh, pc 
and uh, you need to make sure you are native 1920 by 1080 or 2k or 4k whatever your uh, monitor is and refresh rate should be maximum as i have 165 hertz and uh, here you will see this option you need to make sure this option is selected with 32 bit rgb and full dynamic range click, click apply after that another important setting is the setup g-sync make sure it is enabled i do not recommend uh, turning this off because it will match the frames of your game with your uh, uh, displaying monitor so i highly recommend enabling it after that what you need to do you need to go to adjust desktop color settings and uh, here you need to make sure all channels are selected and brightness should be 50 and trust should be 52 okay gamma correction should be one do not decrease it and the digital variables should be 55 it will saturate your game if you do not want too much saturated make sure it is at 52 and hue should be at zero and then the next thing we need to go to adjust video color settings and here you need to make sure this option is selected with the uh, video player uh, settings and in the image video setting you need to make sure it is also selected so that's it after you are done with your settings as i have shown you click on apply and uh, you are good to go so that was it if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and share if you find this video helpful uh, please share it with your friends and uh, i highly recommend using the settings i have shown in my video because this is going to boost your game if you follow my steps you will definitely see some in performance improvements in your game uh, for the demonstration purpose i can show you the hitman gameplay so let us dive us into hitman 2 and i will meet you there before navigating into the game i need to make sure it is uh, it is at maximum performance as you can see here super sampling 1.5 everything is set to ultra so let's play all right so we are inside the game and uh, we are going to see how what is the performance okay let me enable my frames per second as you can see i have enabled my g-sync compatibility you can see here i have 165 words which is uh, uh, trying to match my game with the monitor so i will play this game As you can see here, the maximum quality is achieved with higher frames per second. This is super cool. This uh, game is very, sh uh, you, you can see the image is very very sharp and you can see the texture quality, everything is super cool. This is the ray tracing is enabled as you can see here, This you can see the glow now i highly recommend using these settings because it will boost your game like never before you can easily see the performance and uh, the quality of the game man this looks so cool you can see the texture ray tracing everything is perfect So I hope you like this tutorial and if you find anything useful in this video make sure to like subscribe and share and keep the thumbs up and comment down below if you need any help. I will try my best to solve your problem. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.